Hello lovely people, it's Jo Gifford here, the Ideas Girl aka Dexterous Diva, having a chat today about being productive and being creative but getting things done. If you're anything like me, and I'm sure there's lots of you out there who are full of your wonderful sort of creative ideas, business ideas, online content ideas, blog posts, things to do, I'm really proud of you for generating all these wonderful ideas. However, at some point we do actually have to just get them done, don't we? So, I happen to work in a very non-linear way, which I'm sure a lot of you out there will also resonate with. So I'm talking about mind maps, having post-it notes everywhere, notebooks full of ideas, things written on my iPhone, on my iPad, all over the place where I'm brain dumping as stuff comes into my brain as I have that creative thinking process. I'm letting those thoughts arise and I'm getting them down. All good, but at some point we need to actually say, what am I doing in today? You know, what are my tasks which are of the main priority? And then you need to sit down and work your way through them in more of a linear way. So I have a really simple tip for that one. Break it down into 15 minute chunks. This is something which I talk about in my um, free e-course, um, Idea Generation and Creativity for Bloggers, which actually applies for lots of businesses and for online content. And we talk about doing the 15 minute chunks, which I know most of my course um, attendees have found really useful. Literally set your timer on your smartphone or on your computer or your watch for 15 minutes. Start your first task. And before you know it, those 15 minutes would have gone. Mm. I know myself, if I'm working on a particularly large piece of copy or or um, a large piece of work, I can often procrastinate and not get started on time. Um, and I'll be buzzing around with different ideas for other projects and things. But you just need to focus. And if you break it down into small chunks, you get things done much faster than you think. Sometimes my chunks might be an hour or they might be 15 minutes or even five minutes if I'm really struggling to get started on something. So if you just set your timer and then you can do five minutes, allow yourself to think about something else and then come back and slice it up and you'll find that you get these things done. So there's also a really handy app called a 3030, which I know is available on the iTunes store, which you can um, stack up all your tasks and actually allocate time next to each one and press play and it will set the alarm for when your task time has finished for the first one in order to move on to the next one. So if you find that you just need to have things stacked up in time order, then that might help you. Another handy tip is to actually map things out onto your calendar. Um, you know, being like a Mac girl, I have iCal, which syncs up to my phone and to my iPad and, and pretty much syncs up to my brain, I think. So my iCal, I mark out in my work calendar exactly what I'm doing and in which chunks of time and then I can always see those and sort of move them around and see how the week or the day is looking. But you do need to make sure that all these wonderful creative ideas that you've got, you're actually putting in time to action them because otherwise you might feel sort of frustrated. Obviously, you still have your workflow that you need to do. Um, maybe you've been given a job by a client that you need to work on that feels insurmountable. Sometimes just break it down into tiny chunks and start on it. It's a really simple tip. Let me know whether that helps you. You can find me on Twitter at Dexdiva, on Facebook, forward slash Dexdiva. And of course, you can sign up for my free idea generation and creativity e-course for bloggers. And stay tuned in for my next posts on creativity. And let me know how you get on in the comments down below. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye.